I'm telling you right now, a couple of these players about to separate tonight. I'm telling you. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk. Right back like I never left. What's good with y'all, people? Hey, look, trivia question. Who know the rings well enough to tell me which one this is? Which ring is that? You know what I'm saying? But look, it's game day. So I'm hyped, man. It's a good day, man. We've been looking forward to these games all off season. So it's good that we back on a new game day, man. Preseason game two, since we get four, unlike other teams. And we got the Cardinals tonight, man. Um, I just wanted to jump in here real quick. I ain't going to talk y'all heads off, I promise. Uh, first and foremost, let me apologize, man. I know y'all tired of hearing me talk about Dak shoulder, Dak this, Dak that. Listen, I just talk about what it seems like the streets of Cowboys Nation is talking about, man. I consider myself the voice of the streets. You know what I'm saying? I might not give you the best analysis. Might not break down tape for y'all like that. But what I will do is try to speak on the pulse of what's going on in Cowboys Nation. And ain't nothing at the top of the list but Dak and what's going on with his shoulder. Is he hurt? Seriously? Is he just resting because his arm was sore? That's why I've been talking about it. But my apologies. My fault. Let's talk about some players that's going to play tonight. All right? Um, I wrote down a couple of notes so y'all bear with a brother. Um, first and foremost, man, I want to talk about who's going to emerge in this swing tackle arena. Who is it going to be? Because Nasheki just wasn't it last week. Is it going to be Steele or is it going to be Knight? Like, I need to know. Is Josh Ball even suiting up today? I don't think so. But I need to know who's going to emerge as that swing tackle because this is important. Am I one of them people that think that I'm not going to say Ty Smith is definitely going to miss three or four games? Like, I'm not that type of dude. I think Ty Smith is going to play all year. But you do not not have insurance. That's like driving your whip out here. Butt naked, no insurance. You don't do that. You always have insurance for things. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of insurance, is Garrett Gilbert going to finally solidify himself as that backup quarterback? Because right now, if I had to put a percentage on it, I'm about 65. Okay with him playing backup quarterback? Um, I'm not leaps and bounds and super excited. He's been okay. That's all I got for you. I ain't going to lie. You know, I know I'm Captain Optimistic, but I ain't going to lie. Um, Gary Gilbert can be better. And maybe tonight he can show us that he can be better. Um, my personal favorite, the thing I'm looking forward to, Simi Fuhoku. I'm looking for him to have a splash play between this week and next week's game. Preferably tonight. I need Simi to separate himself, man. I want Simi to make this team. I already know, per John Lynch last week, that other teams got their eye on him. So if we try to stash him on the practice squad, he ain't going to make it. He got to show and prove why he needs to be on this roster, why they need to keep him on the roster, because we might as well just cut him. If we put him on the practice squad, he is not going to stay there. He's got too many good attributes to stay on the practice squad. He's, what, 6'4", and runs a 4'3". Like, I don't care if he's raw and his routes got to get worked on, everything like that, and he's good at high pointing the ball. Somebody will bring him in to work with him. And for us to just let that hit the streets would be kind of wild. So I don't think Simi's going to get cut, but I do need him to show and prove. Um, also, for everybody, like all of the diehard Trenches fans, Bradley and I is going to get his shot tonight. Um, Basham has been on like a pitch count. I think he got an ankle issue, if I'm not mistaken, or was it a knee? Um, Randy Gregory, I don't think he's going to get many snaps if he plays. If he plays, he might play. Um, I'm not for sure. And D-Law's not playing. So that defensive in-depth is important. And Bradley and I gets to finally show and prove why we were so high on him last year. You know, um, Bradley and I is one of those people where he's not 40 times speed fast and nothing like that. He's good within the short area. And his edge control coming out, I think it was Utah, was amazing. So I'm looking forward to him. Finally showing why we was excited about him. You know what I'm saying? So Bradley and I are somebody that I'm watching. I'm also looking at the trenches in general. You know, Odigi Zua. And um, 
Watkins and Urban. And I, I just want to see that D tackle room show and prove, show that we can get some good push up the middle, not get blown off the ball. I'm looking for, I don't want to see our, our, our DTs or our DNs getting blown off the ball. I need them to keep our linebackers clean. You hear me? Um, as far as our linebackers, man, of course I'm watching Micah Parsons. He was mad last week. Y'all heard him in Hard Knocks. You know what I'm saying? Why well, I got to come off the field? You know, Micah want to play, man. Micah want to play. I think on Twitter he was just saying, man, I love what I do. I'm here to ball. And let the man ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of those people that want to keep players in bubble wrap. Outside of the quarterback, man, this is a gladiator sport. Let them players play. Get your body conditioned to these collisions. You know what I'm saying? All of that, keeping people in bubble wrap, when they get out there and get hit, their body not ready for it, and they get broken. You know what I'm saying? So let Micah play. I want to see Jabril Cox. I want this is what These are the players I call the future because they might not get a lot of snaps during the year, but in situations they might get in. Um, Jabril Cox, Izzy, Nashawn Wright. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what Nashawn do tonight. Of course, I want to see what Boss Man do. Um, you know, that's my boy, president of the Boss Man Fat Fan Club. Kelvin Joseph is going to show again why he's going to be the starter. He's pushing for that. Um, I think I'm going to do a whole video on who needs to start at corner. Um, but we're not going to do that tonight. We're focusing on the game. Um, last but not least, man, I just want to see cohesion tonight. You know, I want to see more of what I saw last week. I want to see focus. Not really worried about the score per se and nothing like that. This ain't a this game don't count. I just want to see cohesion. I want to see people knowing where they need to be. Assignments. I want to see Chris Routes. I want to see um great trenches play. Like trenches play is paramount. I want to see if we can solidify the swing tackle position and all things like that, man. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all looking forward to tonight. What thing or what player you watching. You know what I'm saying? And look. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all want me to jump back on after the game and do a brief recap. Or y'all want me to just do that tomorrow, man. But look, it's your boy, Mr. Rome. I just wanted to let y'all know what I'm looking for tonight. I'll holler.